Marcus from eCalc and today I demonstrate the all new and unique setup finder. The easy way to find the drive of your next project. So just visit www.ecalc.ch and you will find the new setup finder to select here. So with a few data entries for your airplane and the desired performance, you are able to get a list of adequate motor types that will support your requirements. Let's do an example on this Sbach 60 class and we will see how the new setup finder will work. So first we select the wing type. We can choose between different wing types. So this is a monoplane. I know this aircraft will have an all up weight of about 4.8 kilograms. A wingspan of uh, 1.75 meters and a wing area of 60 decimeters square. We can also define the lift coefficient. A typical lift coefficient of a RC profile is uh, one between 1 and 1 1.5. So if you're not sure about the lift coefficient of your wing, just type 1, then uh, you are on the safe side. The result of this will be the estimated stall speed we get of this airplane. So 45 kilometers an hour or 27 miles per hour. The second we have to define will be the desired performance. So we can choose between different flight missions. They had been pretty find. So I decide to go for a 3D mild setup and based on this selection the setup calc will provide you with some numbers that would fit to this category of airplanes. So based on these factors you see here. S is the speed factor so 2.5 times the stall speed is 107 kilometers an hour the thrust factor 1.8 is based on the all up weight so 1.8 times 4.8 kilograms results in this 8.6 kilograms and the pitch factor we come to this later. So my airplane should fly around 100 kilometers an hour and I would appreciate to have about 9 kilograms of static thrust and a flight time of 6 minutes. Next you have to define is the battery configuration. I go for a 8S setup based on LiPo chemistry. So there are other chemistry you can choose. And I usually fly in summertime at 25 degrees centigrade and on a field elevation of 500 meters above mean sea level. Now some final entries regarding the motor. So I this will be a single motor airplane. I don't need any gear and the maximum weight of the motors should not exceed 15% of the all up weight. So the motor weight should not be bigger than 720 grams. Of course we can choose that to maybe 20%, 12% or more 
So the bigger the aircraft gets, the lower the percentage should be, and the smaller the aircraft, the higher these numbers should be. So the maximum diameter of the propeller is mostly defined by the physical prop clearance towards the ground. So here in this case we have a 20 inch maximum diameter and the pitch should be calculated automatic again based on this factor here so 0 0.5 times the diameter will be the optimum pitch so about 10 inch should this airplane have I go for a two blade prop and here we go we find the setups and we get a list of a bunch of setups. So this list can be sorted in a different ways. Just click on the header and the list will sort regarding this header. So I most probably sort regarding the prop names, uh, the motor names, sorry. And now here we go, we see the different manufacturer having adequate motors for our project. So you will see some red uh, numbers. So this indicates that the motor temperature most probably goes over 100 degrees. So there is a risk of burning the motor or the setup itself. So you may look through all the different setups, are quite a lot now in this case, 369 we had. So we come now to a conclusion, I would like to use the Leo Motion 5322. You just click on this setup and the prop calc will be called with the entries of this setup. So all fields are already filled in regarding the setup entries we did before. So we just can hit the calculate button and let's see what result we get. Then we can, you can refine the setup or change to even another setup and play forth and back until you get your best and adequate setup for your project. Just visit www.ecalc.ch for more information. Thank you for watching and see you next time.